Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking glowing wheel effect using Adobe After Effects and Saber. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is I've just downloaded some stock footage for this tutorial. So I've went to Pexel's video and I've got this video from Eric McLean. It's a very nice video of a soft panning shot of this car rim. So it only shows the front car rim um, and that's looking pretty good. And the reason why I've chosen this video is because I wanted a simple shape that would be easy for After Effects to track. So here I have the outline of the rim which pretty much stays consistent throughout the whole clip and I think it will work well. So once you're happy with whatever clip uh, you want to download, just uh, click download and then we will take it into After Effects. So now once I've imported my clip, all I have to do is drag it to my timeline and it will create a composition to the specifications of that clip. So in this case, it's 2560 by 1440 at 24 FPS. So now once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create the mask so we can apply the Saber plugin on this. Now there are many ways to do this, but the way I'm going to show you is by using Mocha AE. So I'm just gonna load up the plugin. I'm gonna make sure that my uh, resolution is set to full. I'm just gonna launch Mocha AE and it will open up. And now I have access to this screen. So the first thing that I need to show you here is some shortcuts. So if I hold Z on my keyboard, it brings up the zoom um, icon over here and I can click with my right mouse button and zoom in. Now, the other thing which is uh, very useful is pressing the middle mouse button on your mouse and now I can move it around. So the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to create a nice work area so that you can see what you are actually doing. And once you're happy with all of that, then there are a few ways that we can actually create the mask. You can actually use this tool over here and you can create a mask like that. And once you're happy with all that, all you have to do is connect it back to the top. But because this is a circular kind of uh, shape, I'm gonna start off here with the ellipse tool. So I'm just going to draw an ellipse around my shape. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to now edit this. And then what you need to do is you're just gonna grab these points and you are trying to get all the way around the rim. Now there are going to be some areas which you won't be able to um, get just by using these points that are you know, um, allocated on this ellipse. And if you wanna add any more points or anything like that or change the curves, you can you know, bring that curve out something like that and you can always add more points by pressing this button over here adding a point and then you know you can rearrange it to wherever you like so just for a few seconds work i think that is looking pretty good um, and we'll see how it goes in the tracking so before we start tracking what you need to do is make sure that you're on the first keyframe and i'm just going to click on all the motion track options so i'm going to click on the perspective as well just in case it needs it and then when you're ready to track all you have to do is hit this button over here So once it's done, what you can do is you can scrub through your timeline and you can see if it's actually tracking to where you want it to go. And if you need to change any of the frames and you can scroll through the frames by scrolling on your mouse wheel, you can adjust any frame um, and the points of the frame to whatever you like. So I think, you know, for a pretty quick job, that's done a great job at tracking to that side of the rim. So now once we have that, now we're done with Mocha. So what we can do is we can save that and then we can we can actually close it and we can um, now we can go into our matte settings and we can just go to create the AE masks. 
and that's what we need for our saber to work so now once we have that what we need to do is we need to make a duplicate copy of that and on the bottom copy we'll just get rid of the mocha because we don't really need it and we also need to delete the mask as well so i'm just going to press m for masks and just delete it so we get our background back we should have actually uh, taken a duplicate of that before we did any mocha work but anyway, so now once we have that set up, what we need to do is we need to now um, apply the Saber effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for my effect called Saber. So if you don't have it, it is a free download from Video Copilot and the links will be in the description. So I'm just gonna jump and put that in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to customize core. I'm gonna change the core type to layer masks. And now it's put it around that little circle that we have. And then the final thing we have to do in here is we have to go into render settings. And I'm just gonna go into the uh, composite settings and change that to transparent. And now you have the Sabre working on that rim. And that's looking pretty awesome. And so you can see there, like it's done a pretty good job like you can see it gets a little bit wobbly there but you know I, I think look for the amount of time you're putting into it like to get something like that I, I think it's it's actually really really good so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go into our saber settings and honestly there are so many presets you can you know put that work straight off the bat so something like that like an electric um kind of preset like that that looks pretty cool um but yeah so you so go through and have a look like that's a bit intense but it does look really nice but the one that i'm going to focus on is the neon one and i like the neon one because it's fairly straightforward it's pretty plain um, it has a nice glow that fixes up a little bit of the imperfections of the masking and i think that looks pretty nice so now the first thing that we need to do to animate this is basically we are going to change the start size we're going to bring that down to zero and now you have like a, a half of the glow coming out and then all we're going to do is i'm going to hold option and click on that mask evolution and then that is going to bring up my expressions. I'm just going to write time times 500. Now you can set any value that you like, but I just picked 500. And what this is going to do is it's going to loop around the car rim just like that. And so if you want it to go faster, you can, you know, put in a different value. Let's say 5,000. Oof, that's going to create like a very, uh, very fast loop. Um, so yeah, totally up to you what value you put in here. Maybe 1000 will work fine. So that's a little bit faster there. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to fix up the glow just to cover up our imperfections from Mocha. So the first one I'm going to play around with is the core softness. So if you bump this up to maybe let's say something like 10, now you can see it gets a little bit softer as it goes through. So again, you know, a bit more blurriness to kind of fix up any of those issues. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the Saber effects and you can play around with some of these settings. Now you don't wanna go too crazy here because just by adding a little bit uh, of stuff here really makes a big difference but I'm just um, playing around with some of the glow size just to make it a little bit bigger and then also the glow bias maybe we can bump that up to let's say 0.2 something like that and so now we have it just makes it feel a little bit different and also you can play around with some of the glow spread. So just by doing that, I've upped it to 0.4. It creates an, another nice softer edge to that uh, glow. And I think that's looking pretty good, um, but you can play around with whatever settings that you want. The other thing that you can do is obviously you can change the color to whatever you like. So if you want a different color for your glow, see that one's looking pretty cool. Um, but yeah, totally up to you. The other thing that I did on this clip is I added a little bit of noise. So I added a adjustment layer. So if I go down and choose 
noise and just bump that up to about 10%. Now it's got that grainy kind of look and you can actually put it underneath just the background clip so you can have your glow unaffected by the noise if you like. Um, and the other thing that I did is I added a, another adjustment layer and this one I put in between the clips. And what I added here is some curves. So to make it a little bit more dramatic, I just created a small little S bend there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to also add another LUT by adding Lumetri color. And I'm just gonna go into the creative settings and then you can pick a certain LUT down here. So I've just gone with the SL blue cold look here and now you've got that cool glow that wraps around and I think that looks pretty nice. So anyways, that's about it for this short tutorial on how to get a nice glowing spinning wheel. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.